Hubble's use of Cepheid variables to measure the distance to the Andromeda Nebula is sufficiently important in the history of astronomy to study his logic carefully. He started by taking sequential observations on photographic plates over a period of months, allowing him to identify variable stars in the Andromeda Nebula. He knew that there was a universal period luminosity relationship for Cepheid variables in the Milky Way. He then identified Cepheids with the same periods near the Sun, whose distances were measured by other means, and in the Andromeda Nebula. These, therefore, have the same luminosity or absolute magnitude. He measured the apparent brightness difference between the Cepheid variables and the ones in the Milky Way. They were typically a million times fainter. By the inverse square law, the M31 Cepheid must be the square root of a million a thousand times further away. So if the local Cepheid is at a distance of 2,000 light years, the M31 Cepheid must be a thousand times further away, two million light years.